Kevin Hart's The Kelly Clarkson Show, a tribute to Rad Dads. Kevin Hart is co-hosting and co-producing today. Give it up! Um, are you happy with your wine and your chip combo, or combo uh, the wine? I'm not gonna lie to you, this is good wine, but you know, I feel like we can do better. If this was my oh, show, yes. I no, probably would have. It is your show today, so, so let's then, do better. Yeah, okay, do we have better? Do you want fancier chips as yeah, well? Yeah, like, like this, this, is, this is... is good, but this isn't what I would technically have if we were at like an event for me. There's yeah. a better chip, yeah. there's, a, there's a better wine. Yeah. I feel like my suit is deserving of a better wine. <laughs> Hello, come on now. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, can you bring that out, Justin? Can you bring the, the better wine and the better chips out? You feel like, Please. oh, okay. Please. We have a platter. Okay. Now, why didn't you bring this out the first time? Hot see, thank you. <laughs> what I'm <laughs> talking about. Now, Get that out of here. Now we're talking. Get this crap out of here. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now we're talking. Okay. Uh, if that I ask for a chip, good. give me a chip, one that I can get some dip, and maybe move I'd go my to him head. first. I'd go to him first. Now you got first because it's your show. Thank you. Thank you. See, he knew. You get it. You're he starting knew. to get it. Yeah, I didn't help him at all. No, he's um, starting to get it. <laughs> this is really good. Okay, let's taste this one. Is the lighting okay as well? Do you, are you good? Are you vibing? I am, but I'm no longer feeling electric. Oh. Uh, I feel like now we're in the mode of comfort. Yeah. So give me something else. Let me feel a little comfortable, guys. Can you hit me with something else? Okay. Give me another little light change. We're gonna... See, we just get, yeah! Yes. Now, now I'm in the house. I'm feeling warm. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is so nice. Yes. yes, you guys are, in fact, drinking Duckhorn, the discussion. This wine has notes of blackberry, and when it opens, you'll notice espresso and vanilla. I got the espresso and vanilla, too, did I you? I taste it now. Mm -hmm. After he said it, I tasted it. Yeah. Which means that next time, before I taste it, tell me so I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Note. Yes. That's a I'm note. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, no, well, you have a comment card. We should have a box. Um, so, wait, your new book is out. Okay, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Marcus Makes a Movie. So, what's your message for kids in this book? Why do you want to do this? First of all, when you say that title, Kelly, you're supposed to punch that title. Marcus Makes a Movie. There you go, but you don't have the drums. I do. Damn, it's Lester! Called Marcus Makes a Movie. <laughs> Damn it. Yes. Uh, I think, I think my German just quit and wants yeah, to work no, for you no, now. No, no. By the way, <laughs> our timing is impeccable. Uh, Marcus makes a movie. This is a book that I decided to write to inspire the youth, the generation. Today, I feel like the word no is powerful. It's discouraging, and sometimes you do need a a little uh, a little push and understanding that no is not forever. It's it's a moment, and mm -hmm. this is the book of a guy, a young kid that heard the word no and didn't want to accept it, and he wanted to create his opportunity, which is what life is about. It's about creating <laughs> and making opportunities, making the best of them, and having the ambition, the drive to do it, stay with it, ultimately succeed for whatever that level of success is. Uh, in this case, it was about making his dream movie uh, that he was told he couldn't do because he had no money, he had no cameras, and he found a way to do it without having those assets, but by just having the help of some friends, uh, ambition, and ultimately a dream. And the dream comes true. But it's a nice journey. It's a good journey. And I want kids to understand that's what life is. Life is a journey, a journey worth living and embracing. You know why? Because at the end of it, we all get to look back at our story. And Marcus' story, it's amazing. Wow, did I sum that up? Hit me with it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That was awesome. I feel inspired, first of all, right now. I'm crushing it. Uh, what, what was your experience like? Um, I, I don't know. Did you ever have, were you ever told no about something and then you feel like, You've pushed through anyway that you could do it. Somebody told you you can't do something and you did. Well, Kelly, first and foremost, let me take the time to echo what you just said. Okay. Because Kelly, that was a great, it was a great question. Okay. Right? I feel. I was I told. I was told no. Okay. We all, we all were told no's at some point in time, Kelly. But here's the thing: my no's ultimately became my drive and want toward my yes. Right? I was okay. told that I wasn't funny. I was told that I wasn't going to make what? it. I was told, told you that. Several. I was told that my movies would never show overseas and do business overseas. I was told the likelihood of me being a movie star was not likely. I was told everything wow. that is the complete opposite of what I now am. And here's the thing. When I was told that, I didn't get angry. I didn't get mad. I just used it as personal fire for myself yeah. because I believed in a certain thing that I felt I had. You are Marcus. I am Marcus. Marcus yeah. comes from me. It comes from my life uh, and, and my story. We just did it in a way to where kids would be able to identify with it as well.
Yeah. But the word no, once again, is temporary. It's not forever, man. And that's the biggest thing that I want this young generation to truly understand. I love that. Dream I big. Um, do you want to read the toss? Because it's your show today. I can read the toss. Yeah. Uh, guys, listen to me. Marcus Makes a Movie is available now wherever you buy books. I repeat, Marcus Makes a Movie is available now <laughs> wherever you buy books. Hit me with it one time. Yeah. <laughs> if that was a book, you would have bought it. Yep, I'm still here, just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. Help.